My name is Paula, I'm a PhD student at MIT, and today we are going to be talking about 3D printing. I'm going to guide you through what a 3D printer is, what you can build with it, and how to safely operate one. There are many different types of 3D printing. They typically vary on the method they use to add the material and on the quality of the finished piece. Today, we are focusing on 3D printing in small parts. These are some pieces that we can 3D print or produce with additive manufacturing, as it's also known. So here, we are using an FDM 3D printer, which is fused deposition material. But there is also another type really common, which is SLA, stereolithography. The FDM puts the material on the top, and the SLA has, has a laser that centers the material or cures the material in each layer. Normally, 3D printers are self-contained, but we opened up the side here for you to be able to see what's inside. Today, we'll use an FDM, Fused Deposition Modeling, style of printing. These are the least expensive and offer reasonable performance, so they usually are easy to find. When you 3D print, you generally follow this process. Create or obtain a CAD file. You can create your own CAD file or you can download it. Slice CAD file and create tool pads for machine. Prepare machine. Print part. Finalize your piece. In makerspaces, we have safety rules. For the FDM 3D printer, there are three main ways that you can get hurt. The first one is getting burned, so don't put your finger close to hot points. The second way is getting pinched, so don't put your fingers around moving parts. The third possibility is when you can scrape against yourself, so don't hold the piece and take it out in the direction of your hand. In other types of 3D printers, you may have soluble materials or some different types of fluids, so pay attention to not inhalate or have some skin or eye damage on those. Now you know what 3D printing is, how it works, and what you can do. So now it's time to go make something. If you don't know CAD yet, don't worry. You can use websites online and download CAD files like we did today. To locate the closest 3D printer, you can use the Mobius website and locate the 3D printers on your campus. So good luck, have fun and go print something special.